Well, get ready to arm yourself with knowledge and unleash your inner garden guardian. <laughs> it is time to say farewell to some of these pesky little critters. Bye bye. Well, it seems like the spotted lanternfly is everywhere we turn. So, how can we get rid of them for good? So, we have garden guru Doug Oster is <laughs> back with some tips. So, okay, Doug, for people that might be living under a rock that don't know, what exactly are the lanternflies? So it's an invasive species uh, discovered in Berks County over near Philly uh -huh. and worked its way west over the years, slower than we expected it to. And they're just, there's no predator for them. Okay. And so now we have an infestation of them. Mm. And uh, the closer you are to like a rail line, the more you're gonna have this problem because that's how they're traveling across the country. What, they hop on a train? Yep. Oh, no kidding. And they're like wow. literally like hobos. Or, is that what they were called? The guys they're that hobo bugs. Yeah. <laughs> that is wild because I know they jump. And there's a tree oh they gosh. really love. Okay. It's called Tree of Heaven. And a right. lot of those Tree of Heavens are on the rail lines. They're a mm. weed tree. We don't care about them. Right. So one thing right off the bat, I did a garden consult the other day, and uh, they wanted to know where their Tree of Heavens were so they could take them out. And I said, no, if you have tree of heaven that are off in the woods somewhere or out here, that's the trap crop. That's what they're going to like, uh, like better than anything. So you want to keep the tree of heaven if it's nearby? As long as it's a little bit off the okay. beaten path. Yeah, not <laughs> you wanna, are you okay. saying essentially to trap them there or like kind of? They want that more than anything. Got it. That's what okay. we call a trap crop. So okay. if we cut down the tree of heaven, now they're going to come onto your roses <gasps> and ah. everything else. Uh, the okay. other thing, there's some actually interesting information. I interviewed an entomologist from Davy Tree who told me that the bug, like some bugs have this pump in them that can suck out the liquid out of the plant. They don't. They have to rely on a plant that has that pressure in it to release that fluid. So there's going to be a lot of things they can't eat. So this is good news. And yeah. secondly, looking again at the data, they're moving much slower than expected and they're not doing as much damage as expected. They're just gross. Uh, okay. They make this stuff called honeydew, and it's what comes out of them. Yeah. And it's sticky and disgusting, and that can cause problems on trees and, and such. But we have some organic yeah. controls what, here. Yeah. What do we do here? What do we have? So there's lots of different things we can do. The green one there, it's called insecticidal soap. Mm -hmm. mm. It can't hurt you. It can't hurt the good bugs. We spray it right on the spotted lanternfly. Uh, whenever we're dealing with any kind of problem, pest or disease, we want to specifically target that problem without destroying the whole cycle of nature. Sure. So these things, insecticidal soap. The other thing here is horticultural oil. This is a special lightweight oil that we know that we can't hurt the plants. And so again, we spray that right on the pest and it's not like an instant thing. That, that oil is going to coat them and they can't breathe and then they'll oh, just okay. fall off and they'll be done. I did it on a rose plant and I went out to try and find some bugs right. yesterday. There were none left. Okay, so wow. spray down your plant, the entire plant with this. The bug. The bug. It has so to be on um, okay. the bug. Okay. That's, spray that's on the, the bug. thing. Okay. The other thing is it's called neem oil, and it's just an extract from the neem, neem plant. That's another okay. thing that works good for them. Now, you can buy these things in different ways. You can buy them as a concentrate and put them in a, in a spray bottle yourself, or you can buy them already like the spray bottle. And then you also have this stuff called... How do you pronounce it? Uh, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Diametritosis. Diatomaceous earth. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm never going to say yeah, that. that all, this, all this is is a powder that is microscop on the microscopic level, it's sharp. And so you put it down, and the bug crawls over it, and it pierces the bug, and then it just kind of everything comes out of it. With this, even though it's organic, you have to wear a mask wear because a mask it will, you. yeah, your nasal passages and stuff will you'll have some problems there. So it's not all bad news, but in some parts of the city, you'd have to be spraying, you know, every Nonsense. hour. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, people are There's killing a, a thousand a day. And, and re very quickly, where would you spread this diatomaceous earth? Diatomaceous <laughs> earth, <laughs> right where you see the bug. It's okay. like you're on just putting okay. it right on the bug, okay. right on that, anywhere that they're crawling, uh, that's gonna take care of them. And again, we're doing it in a safe way. You can't hurt you, can't hurt the good bugs, can't hurt anybody who lives downstream. That's an important mm. yeah, really thing important. when you're dealing with these pests. Thank you so much, yeah. Scott, because I think everybody is seeing it and we wanted to know more about it, so we appreciate your, your expertise. Yeah. And you can also catch Doug every Saturday morning on our streaming platform.
And listen to this. Doug even has a couple of seats left for his upcoming tour of Tuscany, Italy. I'm so jealous because I want to go. We'll put links with more information on our website. And he'll leave these guys at home. No, that's for you. <laughs> no, that's I don't want for you. <laughs> no more gifts, Doug.